You ready? Yeah, I'm so tired. I'm sorry. <laughs> You can see yourself out. You know where the door is. I was going <laughs> to stare at you awkwardly. <laughs> <and> just, uh. Okay. <laughs> oh. Welcome back. This is episode 52. Oh, we hit our year. <laughs> yes. This is our year. Oh, wow. 52. 52 like weeks. Three years. It, is it that bad? <laughs> no. Is it that bad? It was last like, episode, yeah. maybe. We started the... Uh-huh. <laughs> <laughs> we started like the first 10. one and then COVID happened and then we oh were, that's true yeah that's true so that's yeah. true I mean yes we have been doing this for quite a while yeah you're right I know yeah we but apologize what? for last episode <laughs> uh we'll we'll try to be, be more lively be alive. <laughs> we had all gotten we all really, really early yes. and extremely tired so yes we'll, I don't think we were planning on it either right? were we it like kind of happened last minute yeah because we, we didn't it. initially plan on because I was gone. that night yeah thursday Mm -hmm. then we decided to record that night yes so it was just like quick quick preparation and we were all exhausted (laughs) it was it was wild (laughs) but that's part of being a mother it is kidding it was the best (laughs) one it was yeah self-confidence is important important oh important 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 Important. Important. let's talk about it again let's just redo it (laughs) (laughs) part three part three Everyone just step one. Everyone just logged on. (laughs) Step one. That is not a step. (laughs) It wasn't. It was not a step. People liked that though. They thought that was funny. They did. (laughs) Bitches. Yeah. Tara was pissed, but it's fine. (laughs) No, I wasn't. I wasn't. It literally was not a step. It wasn't, but the internet said it was. (laughs) The internet. internet. Tell you it was not a step. The internet fucked up. (laughs) Thank you. You edited for me. You're welcome. Good job. (laughs) There were a few last time. Did you hear Is those? Yeah. yeah, I did hear the beep. Bleep, 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 bleep. She was bad at us. My she beep. Was. I was like, bitches. Yeah. Bad. All right. Well, make sure to follow us on Instagram. Yes. Um, Make sure to subscribe on our YouTube. Yes. DM us. Yes. Whenever you feel like it. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Is that it? Leave a review, TikTok. a rating. Follow us on TikTok. Yes. We're going to do some TikToks. We keep saying we this. We are. I know. <laughs> We got we to gotta do some stuff. It's hard to find down. time. Guys, Goodness the only time sakes. all our kids are out of our way to do this kind of stuff is at night. And by then, we're extremely tired. So it's hard It's hard to do this. Yeah. But we're we got this. All right. Okay, let's get to some updates. This is Ashley, Molly, Kim, and Tara. We are four best friends who, by fate, moved into the same cul-de-sac. We talk all things mom, wife, and woman. We are Moms Take Five. <laughs> right, nice. We're back. Pre-game. <laughs> you ready? Nice, nice dance <laughs> for you. Uh, we for just, you. For you. We just did a um another twerk it workout. We did. Class. Oh. So then we uh, went upstairs, did an Instagram live uh-huh. to visit with some of you. We're gonna try to do that a little bit more often because we always pre-game with some snacks. Right. So we figure we may as well. You know, chat with you guys do it together while we do it. Yeah, yeah. So there's so much to say about workout, like exercise endorphins. It's yes, true. after I work out, I have like the, just the biggest burst of energy ever. Me yeah. too. Yeah, and I love it. Yeah. I love it too. I do not. Oh, <laughs> after no. I worked out this morning, I freaking mopped my kitchen twice. Why did you mop it twice? Did two loads of dishes. You could have w- mopped it once and came over no, to my no, house. No, no, it and needed it. guys. It <laughs> needed it twice. I kind of like mopping. Do you want me to come mop your floor? Yes, yes. I'll mop your floor. Yes. Kim Are and I will do real? it together. Yeah, you like mopping too? No, yeah, no she I doesn't like it. Oh, you want me to mop your floor too? Sure. You've got a fancy floor mopper thing. Yeah, that yes. thing's cool. No, I'll, I'll do it. it. So I'll do it just to use that. I do not like mopping. No, I hate Sorry. it. But you did it twice. Was it that bad? You felt like you had to do it a second time? I felt like I needed it twice. Yeah. yeah. That's I fair. Sometimes I feel like stuff that. all over. Mine are always bad. Well, it gets bad in a day. I yeah. know. Like all the spills. I think that's why I hate yeah. it so bad. Yeah. Because <clears throat> you can't keep it that way. It's forever yeah. dirty. Nick decided to wake up the other night like at 10. Oh. Cody and I weren't even in bed. And he looked all confused and we're like, Nick... I was like, Nick, buddy, we're right here. And he stood right in front of our bedroom door and threw up all over the carpet. Oh, God. I don't even know how I would have responded. Seriously. And it was like his full body weight. I oh, know. Oh, my gosh. Oh, just bullshit. kept going. <laughs> so. What did he yeah. eat? Did he eat something weird? I don't know. 
Did he finally eat got... fruits and vegetables? And no. <laughs> his no, body's like, where's my toast? <laughs> butter sandwich. <laughs> Today, yeah. um, Lucy was eating grapes. And she's like, Nick, you want grape? He's like, is that a grape? <laughs> she's like, yeah. He's like, I can't. I'll just spit it out. <laughs> is that like nuts? Remember when she was trying to convince him to eat nuts? Yeah. Was kept, she? It was a pistachio saying, or something. Oh, yeah. And he was like, well, is, is it a nut? And she's like, no. I thought she yeah, said no. Yeah, she was trying to be <laughs> He's like, if it's a nut, I don't like nuts. Yeah, yeah. He did eat one of her apples today. Oh, wow. McDonald's, and I said, "Did you eat that?" And he goes, "Yeah, I like them." And I was like, "You've li- literally never eaten one before in your life." <laughs> An apple, <laughs> but there we go. Hey, that's maybe a step. now he likes apples. Yeah. They probably have to be skinned. I d- I do. Oh, okay. I'll skin them sometimes. Oof. Nope, won't eat it. I'll put them in stick form. Nope, won't you eat it. You should get one of those um, spiralizers. The apple spiralizers? Spiralizers. It's like an apple peeler? Uh, spiralizer. That's probably, it's that's probably what it's called. It spirals called. it. Like it like yeah. makes it a yeah. slinky. Yeah. Oh. And it um, the whole takes apple. out the skin. Yeah, cores it. An apple core yeah. thing? Yeah, those things are cool. Spiralizer. A spiralizer? <laughs> that's what I meant. Sorry. The apple spiralizer. <laughs> you could be yeah. like a radio, yeah. right? Yeah. Moms yeah. take five ad. Yeah. <laughs> Take it away. Get the Apple Spiralizer. What? <laughs> oh, Today, boy. only nineteen ninety nine. <laughs> Free shipping if you order in the next 10 minutes. <laughs> I had one. We used to love it. I don't know where it went. My kids probably broke it. People usually use them when they're making applesauce and stuff so they don't have to like slice all oh, the really? apple. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh. They'll like core them and skin them so then you can then cook your apple, whatever, you know? Makes sense. It's kind of cool. Yeah. So I get to clean up throw up some more. It's good time. <sighs> Sorry. Did so you have to... Did you carpet clean your carpets? Well, I cleaned it. That I actually went. Then he turned. He started crying, turned, and threw up some more. Oh. Totally went over it with my little mop thing. Sucked it right up. Are you kidding? Yeah. Then I cleaned it and went over it again. Oh, that's gross. But, so I didn't, <laughs> I didn't touch it. Oh, I know. That's, that's kind of amazing. My oh, sister yeah. bought a new fancy about carpet it. cleaner, so I'm going to go get it. There you go. And clean the part they threw up on. Um... So I was laughing because today I sent my girls in to clean their room and do laundry. And Lucy comes out with her old dance costume. I saw her. <laughs> I saw her. And I started laughing because here's the thing. Yesterday I went to clean my bathroom. And I start <laughs> cleaning. And I have like a little turntable thing below my sink. And I was like, well, let me look through it to see if I can get rid of things. So I start looking through it and I find my makeup cleanser stuff. Like my makeup brush cleanser. Yeah. I was like, oh, I should clean my makeup brushes. So I stopped cleaning like, <laughs> the dang bathroom, <laughs> the bathroom to clean, to clean my brushes. Uh, that I was just like, I was telling Matt, I was like, yeah, uh, ADHD uh-huh. might run in the family. Uh-huh. And I can't get mad at him because I just did the exact same thing. Yep. So there's that. That's <laughs> I do that all the time. Mark that and I awesome. have these. Mark, did Matt tell you the story? I don't know. Of, let if me hear the story and maybe I'll know if yeah, yeah. Okay. it or not. Well, okay. I was just thinking if you don't like it, just take it out. Yeah, I can take but it out. But Mark was sitting outside <laughs> watching Matt. Like, just like Matt was, Matt borrowed the, our grass thing that pulls up all the dead yeah. grass. And he's like, I watched Matt start to pull up the dead grass. Then I saw him go over and tinker with something. I can't remember the details. He's like, then he started doing something else. Then he went and grabbed the garbage bag. Then he started to, <laughs> like, it was like, like five different things. And he's, and he's all, and then he came back to the grass <laughs> yeah and we were laughing and he goes so hey matt so uh do you have adhd <laughs> and he goes actually yes <laughs> I think, I think both it of runs us strong like, yeah and mark does too mark yeah, also I has say, it i think mac, i think he mark does too because yes. i've seen him go all over the place yes. and not like you know what i mean and matt's like how'd you know he's like well from one person mm-hmm. with adhd to the next i totally could see it mark's like that i think i'm i'm a little bit like that too for sure but i think mark is more so I can, I can focus more on a project mm-hmm. and like sometimes, well, most of the time finish it. Whereas he's like, bounce, 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 bounce. Oh, let me go back to that. But I was laughing. We were laughing so hard because he <laughs> totally picked up on it. Oh yeah. That's, and Matt says it too. Cause I'll tell him something that I did in the day that was super ADHD. And he's like, yeah, let me tell you about this. And we both have these stories really? of like the same from one thing to another, to another, <laughs> to another. It's mm-hmm. like, we're just a mess. <laughs> pretty good uh, and our kids do it too yeah she looked real cute in her dance outfit but i was like aren't you supposed to be clean she's like oh yeah <laughs> <laughs> probably 
Yeah, sure. Yeah, My sure. kids will do anything to avoid cleaning. Oh, yeah. Ugh. Jack goes and plays in his room for hours. Ava just sits there and whines and is like, I don't, I don't know where to put anything. <laughs> and then I'll help her deep clean her room. And then it's like she forgot where everything goes. Yeah. She's getting very emotional. I'm about ready to send her to Kim's house. No. Hey, hey, hey. She'll live over there. Wait a second. <laughs> I'm very familiar with emotional <laughs> girls in my house. Are you? Weird. <laughs> you never guess, right? Mm. No, she's, I think she's like, I mean, she's almost 11. So I feel oh. like it's like that could type happen. of emotional oh, man. Yeah. It oh. could yeah. be. Because like the slightest things. <laughs> I'm like, oh, oh dear. We're like me. Baby girl. <laughs> <laughs> right? I get like that at times too. But yeah. like. And then I'll be like, okay, both of you stop talking. And then she'll keep talking. I'm like, Ava, stop talking. Okay. But I just, and I'm like, Ava, shh, <laughs> let me finish oh. up to say, but I just, I'm like, Ava, okay. <laughs> oh. I'm like, oh my gosh, <laughs> what is happening? <laughs> it's like over the top. Oh my word. Isn't it fun? No. All the emotions we have to manage. <laughs> no. Like, I can barely manage <gasps> my own. <laughs> then to have three kids and to teach them how to like manage their feelings. I'm like, this is not the right job for me. Oh, yeah. Rock lost it on me today. He got out four pieces of bread. Okay. He is so, he's my little independent dude. Like, he will yeah. do it all by himself. Yeah. Like, sometimes I'm like, he doesn't even need me. He will feed himself. He's it's like it. fighting it if I, if I want to cook him something. Mom, I want to do it. So he helps me, which is cute. Anyways, he gets four pieces of bread out. And he goes, Mom, I'm going to make you toast, me toast, Freya toast. I'm like, okay. So he starts making the toast. He gets it out. He's literally buttering it himself. I'm like, cool. Thanks, buddy. I grab one, take a bite. <gasps> like he was pissed. I'm all, what? He goes, you took my bread. And I was like, I thought you said you were making me one. No, that was for dad. Oh. I'm all, dad's at work. <laughs> like he was mad at me. I, for 20 minutes. I'm serious. I was How like, dare you do that. I'm all, buddy, I'm so sorry. And then finally I was like, dude. Dude, it's just Enough. a piece of bread. You yeah. have three left. <laughs> you have three more. <laughs> it is so hard. It's so hard because oh. the smallest things to them are like so huge in yes. their world. But to us, it's like, st like it's nothing. Right. But it's so hard to like, <laughs> like pull back and be like, like okay. let them feel, yeah. feel those emotions. Yeah, that's how I feel. Yes. That's how I, I, yes. I'm feeling it hard right and now. And he felt it for 10 minutes and I was like, dude, it's time. Yeah. It's time to wrap <laughs> this up. You felt it. You, you felt, felt it. it. Let's I've acknowledged it. Now it's time to wrap it up. <laughs> He was out playing flag football with Tyler and some of the older boys. And I was like, Rock, do you want to turn? And he got so excited. He did. And then they grabbed the flag on him pretty quick. And he just like looks over and he goes, oh, <laughs> what? Because <laughs> they got the flag. And oh, I was like, they got Rock's flag. <laughs> I was like, do you want another turn? And he goes, yeah. Oh. Comes over all upset. And I was like, will you guys just let him run without pulling his without flag? Pulling his flag. And then, he got, then he was really excited. Oh my gosh. <laughs> <laughs> well, Jack still cries almost every time we play a game and he loses. Oh, no, and that no. bothers me. I'm just like, dude, it's a game. I will not play games with you if you're going to lose every time you, or if you're going to cry every time you lose. I cannot handle it. <laughs> Do you remember the first yeah. time we the played peanut the peanut butter jelly? jelly? <laughs> yes. <laughs> he lost it, didn't he? I was watching your kids and then you came over to get them and I was sitting with my kids and Jack and was, J was Matthew there? Or was uh, it just maybe, anyways? I don't know. You sit down and all you can join us. <laughs> it's just a game where you try to make a peanut butter jelly sandwich by drawing cards. And I was like ways you can stop. <laughs> Somehow Jack got blocked or lost and he did. He flung right back to his back. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Just laying flat. So yeah. <laughs> Matthew and Ava have always been really good about losing, you know, like, oh, oh it's okay. Shit. You know, cause I'm like, let's be proud for the people who win or whatever. And, yeah. but let's, let's be a nice winner as well. Like not like, ha -ha, you know, like I won, like yeah. that bugs me as well. So oh, it's yes. like, just be happy that you win or be happy for whatever. Don't be all like, anyway, but Jack has been, he just cannot he didn't handle it. No, well, he, I Hard tried. He just, he cannot handle losing. Maybe you just need to knock it off. Yeah, I'll, sa I'll send Snap it to back you. back here. I'm just kidding. I'll send them no, to you for no that. No way. I never do that. Uh, I know. Oh, I'm such a sucker. I'm like, I love you. It's okay. No, but we, that is one thing with games though. Mark yeah. and I, like we've always been, we play fair with our kids. Like, cause you're going to lose sometimes. You know yeah. what I mean? Like, I know. We'll, and it, Freya's had a hard time sometimes. Like, oh. Yeah. Like honey. And I don't cater either. Yeah, like, that's uh, my thing is I think mm -hmm. I'm not going to make it so you do win. It's what's fair is fair. Like we've played, we played a bunch of games. A couple there weeks are ago. times I'll let him win, I guess. I have heard sometimes you like, 
I don't. In in other ways, <laughs> not in a, like a game way, but oh. like if they want to make up their own game, they'll be like, "This is the rules." We're like, okay, okay, we'll, we'll oh. follow your rules. But no, with actual board games and stuff, we do follow. We follow the rules. Yeah, the same. And if they lose, they and lose. And if they win, we're like, "Good job." Yeah, you know, you did it. Yeah. Or Jack throws a tantrum. <laughs> Kids are so so funny, man. It's crazy, crazy sometimes when you're literally watching it. You're like, "What? Holy shit!" Yeah. This I love it when nuts. one's. Yeah throwing a fit and the other one just sits there <laughs> yeah. and is like what's happening what like your problem you man see that? <laughs> see that you do that too <laughs> learn from this yeah. don't do it yeah <laughs> don't do it but they do yeah yeah, yeah. You're like you they see do. the feel you see what you're feeling right now yeah that, that's a lie that's me that's me so you're me right now <laughs> freya came over and ate dinner with us yesterday oh, was it yesterday so, yeah rock too yeah <laughs> they both ate and they were so excited Rock's like hovering. <laughs> what are you making? And I said, pancakes. I love pancakes. Oh. <laughs> That's cute. And then he went and sat pancakes. down. He like has a spot at our house. He goes and like sits down. Oh. Oh, <laughs> my was gosh. For his food. So I get him food and Freya goes, these pancakes are good. You're going to have to give my mom the recipe. <laughs> <laughs> oh. <laughs> so That's cute. So cute. They when they came home, they told me all about it. They're all mom. We had the best dinner, and Frey all mom. Kim's the best cook. They ate. They ate a lot. Did they? I was impressed. Good. They asked for seconds. It was really cute. Thank you for letting me. They loved it. They feel so special when they get to do things like that. It's it so special. It's adorable. Um, Noah had an appointment this week, and <laughs> Lucy ate an oatmeal cream pie, and crumbs were everywhere in the waiting room. Oh, no. So I went and asked the front desk. She had a vacuum. She's like, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I, was like, I was like, I'm sure you do somewhere. She's like, probably. So she, she, I don't think she's <laughs> ever been asked that before. <laughs> but I was like, I can't leave this. And I couldn't get every like individual piece. And I was like, I'm just going to leave this vacuum in the corner in case we make another mess. She's like, okay. <laughs> oh my God. You know what would be really convenient <laughs> like, at a time uh, like that? You know those little like car vacuums yes. that are like little stick those like stick in those a diaper in bag or something and like a <laughs> I would love out. To that would be that would be you're the way yeah, you're a little travel it little was travel bad vacuum. like it was everywhere oh. you know like I don't mind messes. like yeah kids sometimes right. little crumb here like but yeah. those are cakey All how over. did it get so and messy well, I think it was like in my diaper bag for a while oh. so it was already crumbly oh and then when I probably she opened it I don't know I don't know it was just a disaster I was like I can't leave this place like this. That is awesome. This other lady's like, it's like kids are here. Like she was, what I like was making like, fun of you. Yeah. Like, oh, yeah. Weird. Right. Weird. Right? Oh, weird. Yeah. Kids make a mess. I was like, yeah. well, I'm like, uh, yeah, they do make a mess, but parents can also clean it up. Mm-hmm. So did you vacuum it? I vacuumed it. That's awesome. It's <laughs> 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 a housekeeper over here. <laughs> that was Molly nice of you. A lot of people right? probably would have left it. Yeah, that was nice of you. It's true. Yeah. Good job a being mess. a good human. Yeah, wait, that's good karma. We knew you were good a human anyway, so it's fine. Ashley's going <laughs> to mop your floors now. Good job. <laughs> Full circle. <laughs> <laughs> Just call me up. Uh, I don't really have updates again like normal. <laughs> like normal. I swear I had something and now I can't remember. Uh, I try to like take a mental note, but it doesn't yeah, work. Yeah, same. I'm like, I'm going to put these in my notes that I actually have and I always forget. Did I tell you, it wasn't this episode. I told you, and then Cody tried the gritty, but my <laughs> son grittied from yeah. second to third base yes. at his baseball game. He yeah. did. At, so in the cool. middle of the game. <laughs> but didn't you I say like, his coach or someone <laughs> told him to? <laughs> the ump. He said the ump did. Oh, I'm like, I am right. so glad that ball wasn't even close to getting to third base. He was just gritting Do all you the think way he to second have, third. Would he have ran? I have no close? clue. Probably. He was two in the I'm, zone. That's like, awesome. Did you I record it? it? No, I wish. Oh. It's just like, it was just one of those things. You didn't expect him to gritty <laughs> from second to third. And I was like, I don't, the parents were laughing. I was like, I don't know whose kid that is. <laughs> right. I, I don't even know why I'm here at this game. I don't know. Any, and then, any so I'm like, that. is that one of yours? I know. That's so funny. <laughs> right? Is that? The so is Matt that? goes and talks to him at third and it's like, dude, like you can't do that. And he's like, the ump told me to. And we're like, no, he did not. And so the ump starts grittying. I don't think he knew this conversation was even going. 
and goes and gives Noah bones really? and dabs him oh. up. And I was like, okay, so he was telling the truth. <laughs> that kid totally, I that's mean, pretty oh cute. the gosh. ump's like 13. Oh. Right. Oh, he is. Yeah. yeah. So that was <laughs> totally his. Yeah. That's hilarious. I was just like, in the moment I was like, mortified. But then I was <laughs> laughing and I was like, well, that is my kid. What do I expect? <laughs> right. That's True. awesome. That's really cute. Did uh, you see, did you see the video of Cody doing the gritty? Yeah. Him? Yeah, I did. What'd you think? Job. What'd you think about it? He did, I mean, he's a really good dancer. Yeah. Yeah. Very natural. <laughs> that was dying. probably, that was, was probably laughing. my that favorite. Was, that, <laughs> that was, was good. so good. He was like, was it that bad? Oh. They were laughing really hard. Oh, was he actually <laughs> trying? Was he for <laughs> real? <laughs> oh, shit. I mean, you guys heard his feelings. Sorry, Cody. You <laughs> were so good. Yeah, you that should had, like. You should do it more. You should. People, people we sent us messages. <laughs> they did. DMs. They legit did. Yeah, they did. Your, your, aunt, your aunt did, and yeah. there was someone else. I can't remember, but I remember seeing him. <laughs> Cody, they can you him. give us gritty lessons? Yes. yes. <laughs> Cody, you are we awesome. need them. The coolest, Badly. coolest grittier ever. I don't think I could do it. <laughs> no, I can't. That's why I didn't try. Oh, I can. I Didn't you see me? You're good. Crushed it. Crushed right, Molly? It. <laughs> Dude, yes. your sweater is so cute. Isn't that adorable? Um, Whose sweater? Molly's. Do you not watch her stories? It. Are you not a supporter? Yes, I am. Yeah. <laughs> oh, the sweater you wore today? The flower no. one? No. One of my followers yeah. made me a shirt that says oh, crushed yes. it, like embroidered with like flowers. Hand. Hand. By yeah. hand, right? Yes. That's adorable. It was so cute. I went to her page. It's kind of cute. And what she, she does. my name, so. Yeah, that's right. Your name's Molly. Molly. So lucky. That was actually adorable that she did that. <laughs> Made by hand. With love. With love. Okay. Are we done with all our yeah, updates? I think so. Okay. So last time on the podcast, we talked about poops for a second, of course. No, <laughs> That's no weird. Surprise we there. did? Yeah. We talked about different color poops. Remember we talked oh, about yes. teal poops or yes, something? Yeah. And we were like, yeah, if you eat Play-Doh. Unicorn poops. Yeah. yeah. I must have just been. You were gone. gone. I so don't remember <laughs> that at all. <laughs> Blacked so out. Yeah, he he did. <laughs> she was like, Molly's drooling on her mic. <laughs> what? I poop sometimes. Remember we talked about the color of the walls and my sweater because my shit colored oh, shirt sure. that oh, I yes. wore. Yes. Oh, okay. Yeah. yeah. That we argued we'll about. Bring it back. It's green or gray. Green. Yeah, you're yeah. green. Walls. It's gray except by the lights. It's green. Okay. Anyways. Well, someone <laughs> messaged us and said, speaking of odd colored poops, my husband was really concerned once when his poop was bright green. He thought something was seriously <laughs> wrong. Turns out he had just eaten half a package of green apple Twizzlers. Oh, dang. Why are you looking at me? Those because aren't the ones I eat. I, I know. eat the bright yellow <laughs> but, and the bright red. But, but you would. You and would And I eat don't the have bright, bright yellow poop. Well, that's what was that was my question. Have you ever had a poops <laughs> that were like red or yellow? Were they orangey? So. You know, because like red and yellow. No, and I have eaten like a whole package before. <laughs> <laughs> so it must be the green that's super potent. Yeah. Yeah. I feel like green and blue food really affect it. Yeah. yeah. Like the blue frosting. Yes. Mm. My kids will have blue poop for days. Blue From the blue frosting. Yeah. That kind of still trips me out. I feel uh, like carrots do that too. Like make you have orange poops. I've totally had orange poops before. Really? Yes. I mean, I've had, I've seen chunks of carrots. Yeah. Have Maybe your kids. I don't <laughs> chew my food enough. It's very specific. Have you guys ever, when you change your kids' diapers and stuff, watermelon and graham crackers? Graham crackers used to make my kids' poops, like, gritty. Really? Blueberries. Oh. Blueberry. oh the yeah. skin of blueberries. Oh, they yeah, come I've out yes. like a damn blueberry. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. And yeah. it and their poops are, like, dark. dark. Uh-huh. Yep. Like it slightly Dan went through, like, out. a super big blueberry phase. And <laughs> it's good. Goodness. Fun stuff. Gross. Poops. 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 Speaking of poops, yes. poor Mark was on the oh toilet no. all day yesterday. Oh, no. <laughs> Dude, homeboy. Remember how he was, like, starting to get sick? Yeah. Well, then he, his tummy started bugging him like crazy, where he was pretty much laying down all day long. Then the following day is when the floodgates opened. And I'm not kidding you. He was Peen pissing out his, out his bum hole. Oh. Yeah. And then it, it starts hurting. What did Jack say? Your butt hole. Peeing out his butt? <laughs> he did. Peeing out, out his butt. butt. He just threw up out of his butt. So he peed oh. out of his butt. <laughs> he's, I think he's, he he threw he thrown up and then he's like, no, mom, I seriously like threw up out of my butt. Oh. Oh. <laughs> then he said he peed out. Of his butt. I think later he may have said that because uh-huh. then he was on the toilet 
spit peeing out of his butt and like throwing up <laughs> in the bowl at the same time. No. But he had thrown up and then he was so like, terrible. no, mom, seriously. Like he was so concerned. It was so funny. Poor dude. Yeah. <laughs> That's awful. Yeah, he's much better now, but it was That's a long, good. long day. Sorry, Mark. That sucks. <laughs> Poor guy. I'm going to take lots of like immune boosting i know things. that's what yeah. i that's All what i was doing crap i was taking elderberry i was like uh uh-uh. uh yeah i caught a cold but i don't have that weird bug sorry Just ever kidding. since the bo- the boys got sick i can't fart cuz i'm afraid i'm going <gasps> to poop my pants right <laughs> cuz as soon as you as soon as you trust it yeah. it's going to yep. get you cuz that's what they would do they'd be like mom and they'd run yeah you trusted your farts you did that's true <laughs> <laughs> Shouldn't have done that. Can't trust those. You should learn your lesson. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So we have a couple um, LOL moments of the week. Okay. Conversation between my four-year-old and me. Gosh, I'm so clogged. Daughter, why is Chelsea your best friend? Me. I don't know. We just get along really well and like each other. Daughter, in a teasing, swooning way. Cause she, so she's four years old. Is it because you love her? Me. Ha, 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 ha. Yes. Yeah, I do. I just thought that was cute. That's cute. adorable, cute. little four-year-old. Because you love <laughs> yeah. her. It was like, well, if you love her, why do you marry her? Yeah. You know, yes. Thing, like. All right. So when my husband asked my four-year-old why her sister was resting on the couch, she told him it was because she was going out later that night. My husband <laughs> said, well, I hope she doesn't have a boyfriend. My four-year-old answered, Dad, I don't know about her, but I sure do. His jaw <laughs> dropped to the floor. And I laughed so hard I fell to the floor. That's <laughs> so cute. That is adorable. She sure oh, does. Oh. They're funny. Um, Lucy put on that dance outfit because she was trying to impress Nick. Oh. Is what oh. Noah said. And then she went. She oh, did. Man. <laughs> okay. Um, my hubby was chasing me through the house, and I grabbed the water spray bottle and sprayed him in the face, but soon realized it wasn't water. <gasps> it was a spray I used to make our house smell clean. Oh. It had downy alcohol and water in it. <gasps> Luckily, his eyes were closed. We were both laughing for a while oh, as he washed no. his face, and he smelled clean for the rest <laughs> of the day. Oh, no. oh. Good thing that he was laughing. Yeah, that could have been real bad. Really bad. <laughs> for sure. <laughs> Yikes. He's like, I can't see. I'm blinded. <laughs> you okay? I feel like I'm nipping, but <laughs> hold. Just making sure they're not pointing. Oh, I thought you were getting like the. You know, do you ever get that feeling where like you feel like you're let down? Yeah. Yes, I do. Yeah, it's it's it creeps me out. Yes. Like, what the yes. hell? like that tingly it's feeling. Like it's like phantom. Like <gasps> I remember getting it before I had Zeta, and I was like, "Why? This isn't right." I think but by women like, do it all the time. Bra sweaty. And now it's like cold. My oh, boobs are cold. Yep. Mm-hmm. It's cold boobs. Real That'll cute. do it. That'll do it. <laughs> <laughs> Real cute. Oh, Sweaty cold titties. A hot mess up in here. <laughs> I like it. Okay. Well, this episode we're gonna read some doctor visit stories. So I don't. Know, I haven't read through all of them. So they could be real bad. They could be funny. They could be <laughs> terrible. Could be a mix. I don't know. So. I'll start. Okay. So I'll start with John's. I'll just tell his story. He was at the, when he was younger, he had like a, a big old birthmark on the back of his head. Oh yeah. So when he went to go get it removed, they had him late. He was like eight or nine, I think. Anyway, he, they had him lay down on this table on his stomach and they, they cauterize it. Is that the right word? Carterize or cauterize? Cauterize. Yeah. So they went to go do it and his body like jumped off the table and the doctor was like, um, like, are you touching anything? He's, and John's like, yeah, there's like these handles underneath the table. They were like metal handles on the, oh. the underside of the table. Oh. And he's like, don't touch those. Anyway, so he was kind of like electrocuted. electrocuted. <laughs> oh, my <laughs> gosh. He was on the table. So, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's, That's crazy. Okay. All right, here we go. Going to the guy now and your booty sticking to the paper wrap and having it peel off. Yes. Yep. Or having to peel it off. Yep. All the time. All the time. Mm-hmm. Like, is there a time that doesn't happen? Yeah. No. Well, I think <laughs> it's like bound to like kind of go up your butt crack. Right? Yeah. Yeah. And it's kind of like a, like, like you're sweating. Kind yeah. Of. yeah. When yeah. I'm nervous, I'm I sweat. Like, yes. The nervous sweat. <laughs> <Like> yes. <laughs> yeah. We know what they're going to do. So, oh, right? I remember <laughs> my first gynecologist appointment in high school. And I remember laying, 
What? I have a story. Yeah. You do? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and I remember laying in there and I, you know, I was being intimate with my boyfriend and <laughs> she's giving me the exam for the first time. She's like going in there and I'm like, oh, you know what I mean? Like, oh shit. And she's all, have you actually had intercourse? As so she's trying to like get in there. And I was like, yes. She goes, you need to relax. I was like, thanks. I'm real relaxed now. I just remember that feeling of like, I'm just young and girl. First yeah. time in here. Right. You need to it's relax. Scary. It's like a guy saying to calm down. Yes. Like that's not going to help. Yeah. I'm like. One time I went to the gyno for a pap and forgot I had a tampon in. She took it oh. out for me. Oh, oh. no. Oh. <laughs> so embarrassed. What? Oh. Was it like? <laughs> She's just like. <laughs> Ew. Was it like, hey, I'll just take this out. Or did she just. Blup. It wasn't Kim, so you can't ask Kim <laughs> questions. <laughs> this, isn't my, this isn't my personal uh, stuff I need to know. I know. <laughs> Uh, we're gonna have to say just dm us tell yeah. us all the details yeah. we have all the questions oh my gosh that's hilarious the things they probably see you know oh and do yeah. <laughs> yeah my daughter was three years old and had the wrong surgery done on her okay see <gasps> oh, i need more info on yeah. this as well like what the hell that's did they it? do that's it okay will you let us know what yeah. What surgery yeah. she had? What was she supposed hey, to have? Yeah, like, what was she supposed to have? Oh, man. Leaving us on. <sighs> now, I've been like happen. worried. I know. Uh, doctor asked if we were using the raincoat method months after having my first. That's a condom, I guess. <sighs> oh. The raincoat method. I've never what heard would, of that. Why wouldn't they just say condom as a I doctor? Don't know. As a doctor, <laughs> why can't you do that? That's like using proper terms with your kids. In the right? world? Rain. Come you on! Using the raincoat yeah. method. <laughs> do you zip it up or do you button it? <laughs> <What>? <laughs> Does it have a hood? <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> okay. <coughs> uh, come on, you got to be very literal. Lit- you liter- do literal. actually. Do you, you do? If you watch, yes. If you watch Fatty's, no, was it Fatty's? The belly button. Oh yes. Oh, about how people were trying Having to get pregnant sex through in the, belly, the button. belly button. Yeah, it's a not a real hole. It's dude, it's, it's not. a damn belly button, you it's guys. A belly button. Don't what put wieners hell? in belly buttons. I thought that's how I got my four kids. <laughs> that's, weird. that's weird. Someone's gonna get confused. No, no, don't. not. Sorry, don't have sex <laughs> with the belly button. It's not the belly button. Not not the belly you will button. not achieve four kids through the belly button, <laughs> no, or much else, except for probably an infection of some kind <laughs> and a bru- like. Oh, oh, can you imagine? Hurt. hurt your belly. It's gotta like not feel great for him. He's like ramming into nothing. Uh. <laughs> Seriously though, like Ho- it's not going anywhere. Hopefully, she'll have strong abs from like flexing the yeah. whole time. Like oh. oh. <laughs> You know, <laughs> trying to like, protect like, herself. <laughs> they're like, oh, let's do missionary. What? Like, how do you do that oh with your God. belly button? No, you just go straight in there. <laughs> 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 What's doggy style in your belly button? <laughs> oh, you're like arched backwards, <laughs> like doing a back stand or something. What are those? <laughs> Poor girl, man. Because oh there's gosh. nothing about that that would but feel it good. It sounded like there's multiple. It was. It wasn't just like one story. No, oh, there were so Lots. many people, doctors talking about how they've had to explain things to people because they you they would come in with like an infected belly button. Yes, and like oh yeah, like so many stories. Those that poor insane. girls. Like what the hell? Are they like breaking skin with their? I don't know. Action. It's like pushing. <laughs> yeah. Like they're trying to get in there. So <laughs> ew. Oh. <laughs> Belly buttons are like only like this I know. Deep. I know. <laughs> They're like eat, eat, eat. <laughs> <laughs> They're like sex is and all. It's cr- sex I'm sucks. Yeah, <laughs> right. They're like this is terrible. Is they expected. gotta be real small to even like. I know. Move at all in at there. At all. How would you? How would you like <laughs> get satisfaction out of that? And you wouldn't. You, like, I mean, a horny teenage when kid. When you're like would, doing uh, foreplay, uh, is that where you feel excited? Is your belly button? No, right? No, like, would exactly. you would you feel something? Ooh, somewhere my else? belly button's tingling. <laughs> Touch it. <laughs> Put it Go in there. Make out of it. Lube it up. Oh like, my gosh. Gr- oh, gross. 
Yeah. <laughs> Poor I as a girl, I would be like, this does not feel good. This I it can't feel good for the guy either. She's <laughs> that's like true. ramming into nothing. That's true, but you know, it's rubbing <laughs> against something. Like at least the right part is rubbing against something. For a girl, they're new at sex, you know. He's like, This is nothing. great. They're <laughs> just giving great. me a fungus infection or something <laughs> you know Rape helps Rape. Sex to my my that's so quiet my <laughs> okay my friend was getting a prostate exam and the doctor opened the door and yelled i need more lube <laughs> oh my gosh <laughs> that's freaking embarrassing <laughs> and i the the friend made eye contact with the nurse and the nurse started snickering and like slowly ducking behind the desk <laughs> <laughs> why is there a friend oh, at a shit. prostate yeah. exam the, i know this person it was the their friend's story so we were just oh, replaced oh, the okay. word with friend so or the name with friend okay. does that make sense okay I was like, so he told second. the story but we just didn't want to use his hey name. do you want to come to my prostate exam yeah, yeah. i do i need yeah. some moral support <laughs> right my my male OBGYN told me to stop eating ice cream because I gained too much weight. Ooh. Oh, I would find a new oh, doctor. Hey, right? No. <laughs> Good mean. grief, man. Okay. I was two months pregnant with my daughter and was nauseous from day one. I lost 10 pounds and wanted to talk to my OB about Zofran. As I'm exposed from the bottom down, I told him how sick I've been and started ranting about the pharmaceutical. Oh, he started ranting about the pharmaceutical industry and how much he's against Zofran during pregnancy. All while he was checking me for what felt like a lifetime, but probably twenty minutes. My husband had to hold back his laughter because I couldn't get a word in, and I had a look of pure horror on my face as he just went on and on. Needless to say, I was left there with a full exam and no medicine. Aww. I love my OB, but he is very passionate about the his hate. For the pharmaceutical industry. What? Oh, Sheesh. Then you just suffer. Yeah. yeah come on. Seriously. <laughs> Help a girl out. She should at least have the choice. Right? <laughs> cool. Yeah. That's crazy. All right. Was about four or five years old, scared of needles and doctors. My mom took me to get my vaccinations. I was so scared I ran away from the nurse. They were chasing me around the doctor's office. <laughs> I guess I was quick on my feet so much that... The that by the time they caught me, the nurse was visibly annoyed and less empathetic when finally giving me the shot. Ouch. <laughs> oh. oh she's like, I'm going to get this little <sighs> effort. <Right? Yeah. laughs> Love it. So I was probably around the same age, and I had to get vaccinations. And my sister was with me and my mom, of course. And I was like, I don't want, I don't want these. I was like, give them to her. Give them to her. <laughs> and we finally, my mom, like, had pinned me down on her lap. And they gave the shot to me. And after I was like, when I grow up, I'm gonna gr- I'm gonna be a doctor. And I'm gonna come back and I'm gonna give you a shot. And I'm gonna go like this and like shoved my <laughs> fist into my leg. I was like, I was pissed Are off. You I was so angry. I was like, I'm gonna come back and do this to you. Like you're gonna get it. Yeah. The last so shots so Tyler angry. had to get, he was like super scared, f- flipping out. And he's like, Mom, I, g- I gotta poop. I gotta <gasps> poop. Oh, so I I'm go so take stressed. him to the bathroom, and I was like, You didn't need to poop. Oh, you little sucker. <laughs> oh. 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 oh, And he like cried in the bathroom and I had to like drag him back. Oh, oh my gosh. No. <laughs> it's almost you Freya style. S- yes. <laughs> like, Clever geez. kid. When Freya had to have her flu shot. It was the, there was three or four doctors that had to come hold her down. It was so sad. She was like, mom. And the same thing. She was running around the office, hiding <laughs> behind the chairs, like ducking, like in the corner, <laughs> like she's <laughs> being tortured. I was like, <clears throat> Oh, my word. I would have walked away and be like, have at her. I know. I'm like, <laughs> no, I used I'm to hate sorry. the doctors. And um, Emmy had done something to his ear. And the doctor came in trying to just look in his ear. Yeah. His nose flailing. And like they had to take, get people to hold him down. The doctor leaves the nurse and be like, okay, you need to get a swab of the ear. I was like, you just saw what happened. You're leaving one person in here to try and hold this child down and get a swab. Oh, no. I was so annoyed. I was like, I'm never, it was like not my OB or not not OB, my pediatrician. It was just somebody in the same office that I could only get into. And I was like, y'all never again. Yeah. (laughs) That's why you leave kids uh, doctor appointments, like sweating and you get a full workout. Oh my word. It's exhausting. It is so so tiring. (laughs) It's a lot. (laughs) So hard. Okay. My due date was August 1st. I went into labor July 7th. Wow. 
No one believed me, so I went to my doctor and they did an ultrasound. Results said it was a false labor. And then they told me I was having another boy and pointed out the private part sticking out between the baby's legs. Don't get me wrong, I didn't care what I was having, but I felt it was a girl. My husband was thrilled about having another son. I told the nurse that I was going to have my baby on the 8th of July and that it was a girl. They laughed and said, no, 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 you can't have it tomorrow because the doctor is on vacation. I'm like, well, I guess you guys will deliver it. They thought I was joking. The next day I was in full labor, packed my bags and only and took only girl outfits for the baby. I get to the hospital. And the nurses helped me through my labor. Then as I was ready to push, this old man comes in smelling of alcohol and introduced himself as being the doctor that was going to deliver to deliver my baby. I pooped. Oh, I sorry. <laughs> we all do. <laughs> that could very well happen. Uh, <laughs> I, I popped my eight and a half pound baby girl oh, dude. out and the doctor stitched me up. That night I had to go to the bathroom. As I sat there, I felt something falling out of me and I pushed the help button. I was scared to death being 18 years old. I thought I had another baby. It ended up being gauzes he left inside me. I was ready to go home. I was so upset that they sent me a drunk doctor. I love nurses and they need to be paid more as they do all the work. He sewed some freaking gauze up her vagina. Oh. Oh, Imagine if that got stuck for longer. Oh, that would have been oh, such a bad infection. infection. Oh my gosh. That's crazy. There's a girl that literally has a super similar story. Just see who submitted this. She kept, but she went home. She kept sitting down and she was saying, every time I sit down, I feel like it was, this is a friend of a friend. I feel like there's something brainy. Like she would feel down there because it hurt. She eventually pulled it. It was a freaking gauze just like that. Oh, really? Like, yes. My Oof. doctor for Noah, it was my only female OB. She came in limping. She had torn her ACL that day. Are you serious? And still came in to deliver Noah. Oh, dang. No wow. way. Yeah. It's a hardcore doctor. <laughs> I know. That is. Did that make you feel <laughs> nervous? I. Not really. No. They're really in there for like two seconds. Yeah, that's true. She that's like limped true. in. I think she took a seat. I was like, and I was like, are you all right? She's like, don't worry about me right now. <laughs> I was like, but you look like you hurt. Right, like, you're gonna be okay? I don't feel anything right now. <laughs> Good. Like, I'm fine. I'm happy. Yeah. That, that was uh, Rock's doctor. He had just had a um, mountain bike accident like five days before the delivery date because Rock was a planned C-section because he's yeah. number two. Oh, and he walked in and he was, he was limping. His one arm was like, oh, I was like, oh shit. He had to, a C-section. I was, I remember looking yeah. at Mark like, I'm nervous. Like, oh <laughs> shit. And he's like, don't worry. The skimp will be okay. That's what he said. I was like, okay. okay. Really? <laughs> yes. And he did. He delivered rock. Okay. When I was in labor with my first, the anesthesiologist came in for my epidural again, which I had never had before. He asked me to bend over the table so he could insert the needle. Apparently, I didn't understand the assignment and bent over the wrong way and full on flashed in my naked bum. <laughs> so embarrassing. He's like, bend over. She's like, okay. okay. <laughs> Needless to say, I was scarred for the rest of my life. Went natural for my next three deliveries. Oh, <laughs> oh no my way. gosh. <laughs> He was like, no, not no bend and so snap. What? Like, like she, I feel like, this like she I, did doggy style instead of just like leaning. Or over. like maybe like just literally bent over the bed. Yeah, like leaned over. That's what, leaned right. Over the bed. Mm -hmm. Did, were you guys you're standing? not supposed to do that. No, no, I was, I was on a table. Sitting. You curled up sitting. in a ball. You just kind of go like, yeah, yeah, like this. I was on a table. I was, I was laying down on my side when they did it. Oh I, really? I was sitting up on a. I was lane. sitting, yeah, yeah, and like crouching over. Yep. But I could see myself doing that. All mine were great. I never felt, not one, all three I of mine. I felt the zing down my oh, back. Yeah. That was it. Oh, really? That was awful. I didn't. I had they the awful, epidural and then two spinal awful taps. enough to get it over and over yeah. and over again. Yep. Um, I had a pediatrician tell me I was an idiot for not giving my 18-month Tamiflu. <sighs> but they can't even have it, can they? Yeah, that seems, yeah, that seems young. I feel like like even kids can't have that. Right. Until they're older. Good uh, bedside calling your... Right? <laughs> yeah. The parent an idiot. Right? Like, yeah. Jeez. Who are these people? Next. Pediatrician. Next. 
Get rid of him. For sure. Dunzo. Doc came in and put on the fishing channel with volume while I gave birth. <laughs> Are you kidding? No <laughs> way. <laughs> I had to be in like up. Wyoming or Montana. <laughs> yeah, yeah, totally. It's like there's a fishing competition going on. <laughs> <laughs> I need to watch this. <laughs> so look at the size of this tuna. <laughs> <laughs> She's a big one. <laughs> All right, this one says, okay, for content's sake. Oh, Sorry, this, so this is one of my friends, and she's like, I have a really embarrassing story. I was like, well. Okay, first pregnancy at 16 weeks. I got the worst hemorrhoids. Oh. oh it was thrombosed clotted. Oh. Thrombosis? Did I pronounce that right? Thrombosis? Thromb- thrombo- yeah. Anyway. yeah. I don't even know that Sounds word. Sounds probably like huge and clotted. Like, wasn't bursting. <laughs> right? Huge. Right. Huge. So I had to have a hemorrhoid, hemorrhoidectomy, where they remove slice, remove slash slice it, basically to relieve the pain and pressure. <laughs> slice and dice and fry it up. <laughs> <laughs> Who wants shallot today? <laughs> Guys, we are ADHD. I Holy know. moly. Whoa. Whoa. <laughs> so you either get tired or you get this. this Which one do yep. you want? <laughs> You decide. I can't complete a day. <laughs> I'm not. Okay. okay, carry on. It was it was embarrassing and painful and just awful. The door to the room where my husband was waiting was open. When the doctor finished, thinking no one could hear her, she said out loud to herself, letting out a sigh, Whoa, what a day. Oh. <laughs> and then she said, you and me both, lady. You and me both. Yeah. <laughs> Sounds just miserable. That sounds so bad. Oh, man. Shit we go through. Right? Yes. <coughs> I've noticed a lot of them are OB-centered. Yeah. Uh-huh. It makes sense. Yeah. That's when yeah. Cody went in to get his vasectomy, he <laughs> knew the doctor that was doing it. He had worked with him up at the hospital. He's like, hey, hey. <laughs> well, he's like, oh, sip, my sip, God. Sip. <laughs> he's you. Hey. My <laughs> OB for... Lucy and Emmy was a guy that played pickup basketball with Matt. Oh. So he would, like, come and chat with Matt first before he, like, he would see Matt in the waiting room and be like, hey, dude. And, like, <laughs> I was like, hey, I'm your patient, <laughs> <Yeah>. right? <laughs> yeah. Hello. <laughs> Give me the, the attention. He's lucky he's here. <laughs> okay, went to the gynecologist, and after he was done, did a breast exam, old guy, Finished, tapped my boob like a good game. It <gasps> says, looks good. <laughs> oh. oh my gosh. Old guy, friend of the family. Oh <laughs> my gosh. So, I've had my dentist, so like, tap on my teeth. Look good. What? Are like, you serious? Thanks, buddy. You should call on him. It's weird. <laughs> <laughs> it's weird. Having someone slap my boot. Okay, right? like, yeah, bean dip. That's what I was thinking. Little, little bean dip. Oh, that look good. Looks good. Wait. I just got to check on the bounce. Let's see. Next. I had placenta previa, oh. which is when your placenta is clo- too close to your cervix. It's fine as long as you have a C section. Otherwise, <clears throat> there's a big blood loss risk. I was being scheduled. For right after the 4th of July weekend, it was closer to my due date than my doctor preferred, but hospital policy wouldn't let me do it earlier, so she had me meet with another doctor in the practice in case. I went into labor over the weekend, and this other doctor would have would have to do my C-section. Okay. Yeah. This doctor told me I didn't need a C-section, and the doctors and patients are overreacting to placenta previa. She told me that millions of women before me gave birth, and I was being a wimp. When I was what? putting my baby, wow. that I was putting my baby at risk for lung issues with a C-section. Mind you, went through years what? of pregnancy loss and infertility to get this baby. I left the appointment crying and refused to see her again. Told my regular doctor if I went into labor, I'd be going to a different hospital. Mm-hmm. Absolutely. Holy cow. That's terrible. 100%. I've heard kind of people like that, and it just blows my mind. I know. Like doctors that are so against C-sections or... Yes. Just really messed up. Yeah. Well, you need to be more sensitive. It's weird. Like, after we had to have a C section with Freya, that doctor told us it would be safer to have a C section going forward. 
You know what I mean? Yeah. I know that wasn't her exact case, but I just can't believe some doctors. Same. Uh, okay, this one. After my gynecology appointment, the male doctor stepped into the hall to show me the way. To show me the way out. And I high-fived him as I passed <laughs> by. Like, <laughs> says, what was I thinking? Oh, my God. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Thanks for the fun time in there. Right, yeah. <laughs> Can't wait to game. do that again. Yeah, yeah. good game. <laughs> That's hilarious. I also see myself doing that one. Yeah, I totally, could see you doing totally. that for sure. Oh, man. Okay. Still so sad about this. Best OBGYN ever wanted to reschedule my C-section so he could go out of state to see his son play in a basketball tournament. I couldn't reschedule and he missed, he missed the son, passed away from sudden, what? And he missed it. Okay. His son passed away from sudden, from a sudden issue a year later. He's the best doctor and I still feel awful. Maybe there's a sad one. Oh. Wait, so they still did the C-section and the doctor stayed? That's what it sounds like. Oh, man. Oh, shoot. Oh, lying in the gynecologist, lying on the gynecologist table midway through the exam and the fire alarm went (gasps) off. (gasps) What do you do? (laughs) Think you do like a... That's all? Just butt naked? (laughs) Oh, well... See, come on, like, guys. What would they do? DM us. Well, it's the, yeah, it's the little question yes, box. I know. People are trying to get They'd their... They'd have little, to, like... DM us. You probably just have to get your clothes on, right? Scurry out. out of there? Hopefully it'll give oh, me I'd be like, hurry up! Yeah, get this done so <laughs> I can get Get this here. over with. <laughs> get your test. Let's go. Oh. Says, oh. I went in for a pap, opened up, all ready to go, and the doctor said, beautiful. <laughs> me. What? Thanks. <laughs> I think... <laughs> I never, dude. Oh, uh, uh. (laughs) uh-uh. Like (laughs) none none of that is beautiful. Uh, No uh, one's is beautiful. uh, No, Uh, that is. Oh, I sure as hell don't want to hear that. No, from you, doc. (laughs) Okay, so this says I took my this. This is what it says. So I took my friend to get a liver biopsy, pre anesthesia, whatever. A nurse commented on how pretty my ring was my friend jokingly told her that it was because of the and then it has like a mouth uh egg eggplant and a, <laughs> you know, <or> water <laughs> so i guess the good blow jobs i gave <laughs> post anesthesia she told the nurse with a small ring that she needed to give <laughs> better, better head. to give better <laughs> She, she could get a bigger <laughs> ring, I guess. Oh, my <laughs> word. So that is funny. Oh, jeez. Good old anesthesia. Okay. <laughs> they must hear the most wonderful right? things. Right. That's what we need. We need a story, like a podcast of all but, the stories doctors have yeah. heard. Oh, that for sure. Awesome. Well, the doctors. Yeah. Specifically anesthesiologists. Because, oh. Well, I guess the doctors are in the room, too, huh? Yeah. yeah. It's good. It would be like post-op. Mm-hmm. That's yeah. true. Yeah. By age 20, I was septic because of this dentist. Oh, no. Ambulance, life flight, ICU, $300,000 medical debt. Ooh. A dentist nearly killed me. Working on a revoked license in a dirty <gasps> office, I was 16. Oh, <gasps> my gosh. A revoked license in a dirty office. That is so scary. Did you guys ever <gasps> listen to that podcast about the back surgeon guy? Shh. What? I don't want to hear it. Okay. Because <laughs> oh, you're back? No, it just sounds like I wouldn't want to hear it. <laughs> he was just operating when he shouldn't have been. I think I heard about that. Yeah. Dr. John or someone, I think. Yeah. That's How do they do the that? Podcast. That's terrifying. I don't How do they get, like, I don't know. The hospitals, the hospitals and stuff. Yeah. Don't just, yeah. They don't check credentials, I don't think. I don't think they do they, their real research. Oh, that's so They're sad. They're going with fake credentials, and they just hire them, thinking that it's all legit. And oh. um, <coughs> Mark and I went to this dentist. This was, like, two years ago. And I just had a bad hunch about him. Like, you know, you just can feel it. Like I go in, get checked. And I was like, there's between my teeth, like it hurts anytime. Like I swish with cold water or Listerine, like it's just really bugging me. And he like took x-rays, looked at it. He's like, no, I don't see anything. I'm like, really? I was like, it like bugs me in there. Like there's a cavity. Nope. Nope. Your tooth looks fine. Like, okay. And we went back to him a couple times. I went back again. Cause I thought I needed, um, a root canal or something. And he's like, Oh, you just have an infection. Yeah. I'm not going to mess with that. I'm going to send you to the specialist. And he sends me to the specialist and the specialist was like, 
oh, no, 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 you don't need a root canal. You just need your wisdom teeth out. They're just, from your wisdom teeth growing in, it's just causing this gap in your gums. And it, I ended up getting them out, right? So anyways, both these couple times, I'm like, this dentist just seems lazy. Like he's just not willing to put in the work. Mark got this major toothache. I've known you guys through all this. And he's having to call after hours because it was over the weekend. And his face is throbbing, you know, because he needed a root canal or it was from a post-op root canal. It was an Ever? old root canal. Yes, an old root canal. Yeah, because yeah, we talked about it. And he texts the, the on-call doc, doesn't hear anything, like hours, right? And he, Mark is just miserable as can be. I mean, face is just pulsing and pounding and he like tries to call and text again literally the next morning he's like sorry yeah i'm sorry missed your call and uh sure yeah i can see you and mark's like great like i can come in now dude go skiing all day the dentist the on-call dentist mark's like what the hell we're trying to get a hold of another dentist he's pissed he gets home around five six o'clock sorry i was up skiing all day yeah if you want to just go ahead and come on down and meet me at the office Anyways, he met him at the office, ended up sending him somewhere else, didn't even give Mark Medicaid. It was such a nightmare. And then go find out, I went to this other dentist, the dentist we go to now. The dude's like, you have a huge cavity. He's like, you're lucky you don't need a root canal. I was like, I knew it. <laughs> that tooth that I was like, is hurting yeah, right yeah. in between my teeth. Ew. He was the, I left a real, real, real bad review because it was so bad. Don't be lazy in your job. Oh, no. like, come on, dude. Hey, what are you doing over there? <laughs> I think your nail tech is going to take you out. <laughs> right? Stop. Okay. I didn't. Oh, wait. I just read. Huh. When I told my story. It's funny. <laughs> That's okay. When I was a preteen, I had to go do a urine sample. They gave me the wipe and the cup. I didn't understand, so I wiped and gave the nurse the cup of pee and the wipe. <laughs> my mom made fun of me. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Here's the wipe back. Yeah. You want this? <laughs> That's awful. See, kids, like, <laughs> it needs all these to be young, you needed very descriptive. Yes, like, please describe what exactly I'm supposed to do. Oh. Went to Sorry. an OBGYN for an annual checkup. He had some residents with him, plus his nurse in the room and the ultrasound tech to check IUD placement. Anyway, they had a plastic speculum instead of metal. He puts that thing in and it snaps in half. He <gasps> says, oh, shit. And I'm like, what <gasps> just happened? <laughs> then he leaves the room. <laughs> what? And so there I am laying on this bed in stirrups and pantless with four other people in Ew. there just staring at me. No. I finally asked all of them to please take their pants off also. <laughs> but they did not. <laughs> I'm kind of feeling <laughs> alone and uncomfortable. Can right? you guys take your pants off too? <laughs> like, how can we like make this okay? Like <laughs> he came back with another doctor and they got it out, but it was not fun. Oh, I'm sure that was. Oh. I laugh now, but I definitely cried then. Yeah, absolutely. Oh, oh shit! What yeah, was it? This shit? A, the speculum. <gasps> it was plastic. Oh shit! Instead of metal, the cold metal. Right. You would have responded like the doctor. Oh, oh shit. shit. I would have. <laughs> yeah. You're oh shit to the best. <laughs> Just like bitches. Becky. Okay. Um, had had to get a new um, gynecologist. So, of course, she's all making small talk during the exam. Oh, how many kids do you have? Three. You birthed three kids? Well, let me tell you, this vagina looks fabulous. <laughs> <laughs> um, thanks. Thank you. <laughs> See, now that I'll take. I or could I take that. Like, I think I yeah. could take that as yeah. a compliment. Yeah. yeah, I'd take that. That'd be great. But like the beautiful. Beautiful. male, male guy, I'd be like, oh, was, yep, beautiful. beautiful. Yeah. Do you Sick. say that to all of us? Right? Patients? Keep your penis in your pants, please. You know what I mean? Freak me out. Um, I, want, I went to see a specialist who came highly recommended in a private practice. I had to wait six months to get in. When I arrived, I found the office was a shared space, and the only person there was the doctor. There was no staff or other people in the area. Oh, hell no. I sat down in the doctor's office and he began to fidget with his printer for at least five minutes. He then looked at me across the desk and asked me if I was a spiritual person. 
I replied, yes. He then said, I am not in a good place today. The only way one could explain it is that Satan is controlling my thoughts. What the fudge bucket? <gasps> I'd be running. <laughs> <laughs> I'd be like, I'd humor the shit. Oh, tell me about it. What's going on? No. I'm kidding. No, I'm peace. Uh, I started to panic and was scanning the room for an escape. Oh, shit. No one would hear me scream. I was terrified. <gasps> he then wrote his email on a post-it note and told me it might be better if I emailed him in a few weeks to see if he was able to see patients. Oh <laughs> I took the note and ran to my car and just started driving as fast as I could. I stopped at a star parking lot and completely broke down. I never went back. I hear he is no longer practicing in. Yeah, I imagine it probably said in practice. Oh my gosh. Holy cow. That's freaky. That I could like terrifying. feel the fear reading that. That it would be. Oh, hell no. <laughs> That's what I'm like. I need to know like Kung Fu or something. You know what <laughs> I'm saying? Staff members were in the back. Tied up or something. Oh, oh yeah. <laughs> oh. Oh my gosh, Molly. Molly! <laughs> you just took this even deeper. You're probably right. I'm struggling today with my thoughts. You know when people do something <laughs> bad, they like want to like confess? That's been like a thing know. on documentaries. They say that. I don't I watch those documentaries. <sighs> okay. My friend I'm had scared. her legs in stirrups <clears throat> at the gynecologist, and her doctor says you have the best, what do you call it, I've ever seen. She was nervously like, what? He then said, oh, pedicure. <laughs> the same doctor also, <laughs> also told, told her sister that she couldn't be a, that she could be a pencil sharpener, that she couldn't be a pencil sharpener whole, her whole life when she complained at her first visit before she got married in the temple. What is being a pencil sharpener? Like too tight? <laughs> too tight, I, th- I would, that's what I think. <laughs> <laughs> Who are these doctors? <laughs> <laughs> what the hell? <laughs> wow. He's like, you gotta loosen up. <laughs> right? Stretch right? that out. Right? You're tight like a tiger. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Sheesh. <laughs> okay. I have a great doctor story. I was 27. It was the Monday before I was getting married, and I woke up with what I thought was a bad breakout. It was chicken pox. I got to work. <laughs> I feel fine outside of the massive, what I thought were zits on my face. Get to work, and my coworker is immediately like, you do not look good. You need to go to the doctor. So I go to the urgent care, and they said, I don't know what your rash is, but you've got strep throat. So at this point, I also have a fever, and I'm driving home, and I get home, and I fall asleep. I wake up, and I look a million times worse. I go to urgent care again. The weirdest doctor I've ever had (laughs) came in. He isn't sure what my rash is. I say, it could be chicken pox, and he says, no, that's not it. So he (laughs) leaves the room. The whole time he's talking to me, he is not talking to me, but my husband. Yeah. Then he finally comes back after making us wait like 20 minutes in the room and says, I was Googling pictures of chicken pox and let's go with that. (laughs) This is my my friend. The story gets weirder the next day. He calls and leaves me a voicemail (laughs) asking how I'm feeling and if I need it, he is willing to come to my house and see me. Ew. Right? My husband (laughs) made the person marrying us say. So she ended up. She got married that week. Five. That was a Monday. She got married that Friday. Okay. Yeah. So my, my husband made the person marrying us say, do you, sir, take this pock to be your fully wedded pock <laughs> <laughs> instead of bride and wife? Glad I could share a laugh. We've been together 12 years and almost married for five. So must be a good sign. Yeah. yeah it was experience. Thank God it was just a courthouse wedding because I looked rough. Oh. Barely could brush my gross, pock-ridden hair. I looked That's disgusting. Sad. Unbrushed hair, scabby, pocked face, and arms. Is I noticed on Monday and was married Friday, yeah. the same week. Oh, That's awful. What a nightmare. Did you guys, did you have chicken pox that you remember? When I was a, was a kid. kid. Yeah. I little. I remember. I she even had the vaccine. When she was little, so she never had it when she was little. She didn't get shingles, because, right? Like, you don't even have the vaccine, you usually end up. 
Do you guys remember yours? Uh huh. Which my chicken pox. Yeah, I do. I, I was remember like laying on the bed. My mom put I that think. pink, like yes. calamine. Uh huh. Cream. So, uh huh. Yep. I was like a baby. I don't remember. Really? I think I was in kindergarten. Yeah. Yeah, I was probably. Yep. I, I may was have like been five. Er- before kindergarten. You guys must have good memories. I don't remember like. Maybe I just remember like my mom talking. I really like just a couple images. I think my sister and I ended up getting it at the same time. We were both just laying on the couch. I just remember having that stuff on me. Yep, I do too. My husband's doctor told him he had a tight sphincter. (laughs) (laughs) That is awesome. Like that sphincter's tight. Tight butthole. (laughs) Tight (laughs) butthole. I overheard my doctor tell a woman in the next room. She needed to lose weight so he could find what he's looking for. <gasps> Whoa. <laughs> Whoa. That is so How do these people have messed licenses? up? Yeah, good question. And how do people keep seeing them? Yeah, right? Do you, wa- do you wonder, Kate, okay, because what I've heard is like sometimes if you're trying to do an ultrasound and there's, you can't sometimes see, maybe he was, maybe he was trying to be polite, be like, I really can't, like you have to lose weight in order to get in there for an ultrasound. I, I still don't, like I don't, so I don't know how ass. it was said. I'm hoping that it was in a nice way. Oh. <laughs> still Shit. messed up. So bad. All right, doctor visit story. I was a new mom and decided I needed to take better care of myself, so I went to the dermatologist for a full body scan. Good for you. Yep. Good job. I had massive I had massive new nursing mommy boobs <coughs> and was a little self conscious about my post partum figure anyway i was also part irish and covered covered in freckles from head to toe more reason to get a full body scan i walk into the dermatologist's office and in comes the most gorgeous male doctor oh, <laughs> oh, oh my gosh i mean magic mike looking solid <gasps> 10 oh, hot no. i'm standing t- there in the ridiculous paper row oh kim's phone is dead oh shit that barely covers anything i wanted to run out of there because no way did I want Dr. McCotty to scan my body. Eventually <laughs> I was standing there butt naked as he proceeded to, to scan all my freckles. Oh, then I gosh. started to leak because <gasps> I milk. had an oversupply of breast milk. Oh, that no. paper robe didn't stand a chance. <laughs> Longest 20 minutes of my life. Oh, oh my gosh. Shit. <laughs> that sounds miserable. Awful. <laughs> Even with like just any doctor. Yes. Then they had but to be that, hot. I know that would be harder. <gasps> That's if awful. Hot. Oh no! I would have said I need to go. I need to. I'll be back. I'll reschedule. And you start leaking all over the paper gown. Oh, yeah. Shit. Sorry, oh. Kimmy's phone died. We'll get her back up here in a second. It won't let you do the camera I think, yet. I think that's it. That's it. Is it? Yeah. Um, I had a couple from my mom. She just told me she when she was like in high school, she. She skied a lot up at Brighton and she was skiing with her friend and her friend was kind of new and kind of nervous. My mom would ski down and then stop and wait for her friend to meet her down. Anyway, there was these kids that kept skiing real close and she was like, geez, this is like scary. She's like, hey, let's go away from these guys there before someone gets hurt. Well, she like on the way down, she stopped and the the kid like crashed into her. She had a big old gash in her head from his ski. Oh, so they had to terrible. put her on the back of the thing so she's bobbing around you know and she's like I, I probably passed out like in and out a couple times because it was on her head yeah <laughs> anyway they what? wrapped gauze around her head got her to the her, to the emergency room or whatever and they were trying to put like the wristband on everyone else that was there because they thought the gauze around her head was like a beanie <laughs> like they were like what <laughs> yeah so dumb <laughs> you thought it was a beanie yes instead of like Hello. She's clearly the she's right. clearly the injured the one with the gauze wrapped around right. her head. <gasps> anyway, she had Shit. long, like really pretty hair, like way past her butt. And they had to shave her head. Oh. They had to shave the part of her. The, the no one person was way. like, "Oh, we won't have to. Like, we'll be able to get in there." And the doctor came in and was like, "Meow," oh. and like shaved. And <gasps> so she was not happy. Oh, like, that's that white heart beanie breaking. is so cute. <laughs> right? <laughs> I know right? this gauze <laughs> blood covered. <laughs> she's all, "I'll keep so the beanie. Dumb. Just don't take my hair." <laughs> yeah. Anyway, so sad. That's terrible. Yeah. All right. Well, thanks for sending those in. Yes. We love Thank we you. love these ones. It's fun to to read everybody's experiences. It no is. No matter what it is. Yep. So just remember to, uh, you know, follow us on Instagram. Subscribe. Send, you know, refer our podcast to friends. Share it. Please, please. Yeah. And we'll catch you next week. Bye. Laters. Peace. Bye.